So we have brand new unseen concept art of the Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster coming to Walt Disney World. So let's dive into it all up next. Hi there, Waltoneers. I'm Jack. This is DS My Newscast, and you know what? Let's just get right into it. As a couple of days ago, we posted a video all about the ride vehicles currently being tested by the manufacturer Vercoma. But at the time, we knew that these were either going to be the exact ride vehicles for the attraction, or said to be extremely similar to the ones that were going to be used. And obviously, Vercoma were just using a very basic, bare bones ride chassis for this ride vehicle for the testing. And of course, a very special thanks to Mr. R for these images and also for the WDWMagic.com forums that broke this story first all about the ride vehicles on the 16th of March 2018. But now there's been an update to this story as we now have brand new never before seen concept art from the D23 Expo in Japan that took place way back in February. That reveals the design of the actual ride vehicle itself. And as we can see, it's clearly styled after the Nova Corps Star Blaster ships from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. Which, if you're wondering, they were the ships that were destroyed when they formed a massive net around the Dark Aster ship. And clearly, this ride vehicle design makes a lot of sense. As we've previously seen in the concept art revealed last year, that outside the front of the attraction, there will be a Star Blaster ship as the entire universe of energy Pavilion is meant to be very reminiscent of Xandar from the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Now this concept art was officially revealed at D23 Expo in Japan, as it was broadcast on the Japanese TV channel of D-Life, but it's also been confirmed by the insider Marni1971 that this design of the ride vehicle is one of quite a few different designs being considered, and so that might be the reason why that it hasn't been released yet by Disney Parks blog. But apparently all the ride vehicles do look quite similar to this one that we can see, but as Marni1971 has stated that this ride vehicle design may be one that goes the quickest, possibly alluding to a little bit more elaborate ride vehicle designs that may require a slightly slower speed, but they should all look fairly similar to this design. And the last thing to take away from this artwork is that the concept art seemingly confirms, as expected, that this ride storyline may take place throughout the galaxy, as that's kind of a given, as you can't really have the Guardians without the galaxy. But now, if you missed the information in the other video, here's a short little recap cap right now. But the main question here is what secrets does this ride vehicle hold and what can it tell us about the actual ride system itself? As we can see that this image seemingly confirms the previous rumour that the roller coaster train for this ride will be made up of five individual 2x2 two two cars that will have a capacity of 20 riders per train. But where this gets interesting is that insiders are now confirming that the vehicles will be able to rotate 360 degrees. However, this will not be a traditional spinner coaster like Primeval World where the weight, speed and gravity dictates the movement of the vehicle. But instead, in this roller coaster, Walt Disney Imagineering will have complete control over direction, movement and rotation of the ride vehicle on the tracks. So they will be able to focus your attention on specific subjects and time the ride sequences seamlessly which is sort of similar to Escape from Gringotts over in Universal Studios. But the difference here is that this coaster will be in continual motion after the launch into the new gravity building that is currently being constructed, and it won't stop moving until you reach the brake section. Now this doesn't mean that it won't have amazing show elements, as Crush's Coaster shows us over in Disneyland Paris that they can add exciting ride elements to a roller coaster. And Walt Disney Imagineering could easily be adopting this approach here to to the fully immersive projection mapping within the new building, but that's all just speculative at the moment. Additionally, another thing that these images seemingly confirm is that the ride vehicle has been designed supposedly to make it harder for guests to see the track underneath them when they're on the actual roller coaster. But apparently the truly special stuff in terms of the ride vehicle and also the ride system will happen in between the load section from within the Universe of Energy Pavilion building to the launch tunnel into the new gravity building where 90% of this ride will take place. But now it's over to you Walton is as I would like to know what would you have liked to see Disney actually design for this ride vehicle for the Guardians of the Galaxy attraction and also what are you most excited for for this ride coming to Epcot? 
But of course, don't forget to put the timestamp of where the Hidden Mickey appeared somewhere within this video along with your suggestion or your comment to be in with a chance to win a DSMI newscast pin. And congratulations to this Walter near here for winning with this suggestion from a previous video where we were talking all about the Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster that's coming to Epcot. And so that's it for this very short breaking news video. So go ahead and subscribe down below, hit that notification icon, and if you could give this video a massive thumbs up, it really does help this channel out. And I've been been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon.